Hey everyone, how's it going? God Gamer here. So today I'm going to be explaining a crazy new Hollow Knight trick that was found that allows you to pogo your own Vengeful Spirit spell to skip to different places. It was found by a person named Dan Olav, and huge shout outs to him because I have no idea how he thought of this, but it has the potential to change so many speedruns and challenge runs that I'm just super excited to see where this goes in the future. So I'm just gonna show this right off the bat that you can skip directly into Fungal Wastes from this entrance. You can just cast a Vengeful Spirit at the perfect spot and it goes downwards instead of to the side and then you can pogo off of it immediately after. And that's it, you're into Fungal Wastes from this entrance. So the trick is called stall ball or slope ball, just depending on who you ask. And five skips that I know of have already been discovered in the past day using this trick. So I'm gonna be talking about each one of the skips that have been found and kind of explaining their significance. And I'm also going to break down in a bit more detail how this trick works. So let's get right into that. Okay, so first off, Diagonal Vengeful Spirit is something the Hollow Knight community has known about for some time. Basically, at some point, most people who've played Hollow Knight have cast Vengeful Spirit and just seen it go off diagonally in a direction, and they've been pretty confused, but everyone just shrugs it off because, you know, who cares? It's not really used for anything. But now that Diagonal Vengeful Spirits are being used for tricks, I've looked a bit more into it to kind of see what makes this consistently happen. And the gist of it is that you need to cast a Vengeful Spirit so that in the next frame, it touches a sloped wall. If you do that, then the Vengeful Spirit is going to adjust its angle according to the slope of that wall. Okay, so let me just break down what's happening. So basically I shoot the Vengeful Spirit at this spot and it goes right into the sloped wall right here. So this is a really subtle slope, so it's kind of hard to tell, but this wall right here is sloped, and we're aiming the Vengeful Spirit at that. So obviously this is extremely precise, but that's kind of beside the point. But when we aim the Vengeful Spirit into that slope, it gets re-angled so that it goes almost straight downward. And the Vengeful Spirit has to be spawned in the perfect spot so that in the next frame, it collides with that sloped wall. And this is kind of showing you what happens if you cast it at the perfect spot. But if you move a bit further away, nothing happens. It just goes and collides with the wall as normal and despawns. And if you do it from too close, something different happens. When you cast a Vengeful Spirit right into a wall, the Vengeful Spirit actually spawns inside of the wall and you can see there's so many walls inside of the walls that it just collides with one of the walls and tends to despawn right away. So you have to be in the perfect spot. If you're too close, it spawns inside the wall and just hits another wall immediately. And if you're too far, then it just hits the wall and despawns as you'd expect. Okay, so now we're going to be getting to the juicy part of the video, which is looking at the skips that people have found using this trick. So this was found by Kama Killer, and it allows you to do White Palace without getting Monarch Wings, which is actually a really big deal for low percent true ending, which I'll talk about more in a second. But the idea with this is that you need to jump from as far right on the platform as possible. So you're basically in the air before you do the jump, and then you cast the fireball into this slope right here. And it's pretty precise, but it is doable in speedruns for a player. I'm just going to show this to you. It is pretty precise the height that you have to be at, but you can just cast Vengeful Spirit and then pogo it immediately after. And the rest of White Palace actually isn't that bad. So this has big implications for low percent true ending. If you don't know what I mean by low percent true ending, you might remember it from Scurry's video where they killed birds for like 40 hours or something crazy. Low percent true ending is that category. And if you don't know how low percent works, you basically have to beat the game with the lowest percent possible. So now that this has been discovered, the previous low percent route is completely invalidated. And anyone who wants to do low percent true ending from now on has to do this route. Now, the way that this changes the route is that 
Previously, you would go through Broken Vessel, which is 1%, and you would get Monarch Wings, which is 1%, and then you would go and kill Lost Kin, which actually doesn't count as a percent, but it gives you 400 Essence. Now, instead, you just get Vengeful Spirit, which is 1%, so you end up with 1% less. You also end up with 400 Essence less, which means more farming. Okay, now this is a skip that's used as an alternative to the Shade Skip to Broken Vessel. I'm not sure if the skip is used in any speedrunning route at all, other than Mag's theoretical Isma's Tear Skip route, but that isn't doable on the patch that this Fireball Skip is doable on, so unfortunately that wouldn't work out. But I still wanted to show this off regardless because it's really cool. You just have to pogo off these spikes down here, and then dash into this wall, and you can put the fireball in the perfect spot, and you can just barely get up to this wall to wall jump off. And you can do that without having to use crystal dash, which is super nice. Okay, now next up we have a shade skip skip that actually has use in a real speedrunning category, which is pretty crazy. So normally in all stag stations, or ass, you'd do a shade skip in this location where you'd spawn a shade way off to the left and you'd get the shade to cast a fireball way over here and then you'd pogo off of it. So why not just shoot your own fireball instead? So all you have to do is position yourself at this specific spot and then you do a full jump and at the peak of your full jump you cast a fireball. It's going to collide with this uh, sloped wall right here and then you just pogo the fireball you can just barely hit it and then you can just jump right up normally this requires monarch wings so we skip getting monarch wings and we skip having to do the shade skip which also means we don't have to get the bench nearby which also means we don't have to get the geo to unlock the bench so it's a pretty big time save for all stag stations Okay, so I'm going to be saving the best for last. This is definitely the coolest application of the trick. It's for the challenge run to beat Hollow Knight in the minimal amount of wall clings required. So this is based off Fire Owl's video. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out because it's super interesting. She found that it requires three wall clings to beat the game. And normally, in order to do that, you need to get Monarch Wings and you need to jump off this wall right here. That's one of three wall clings to beat Hollow Knight. So what Dan Olav found is that you can actually pogo off this background object, which gets you high enough to cast a fireball into this wall. Then you pogo off the fireball and you can cast another fireball on this wall, which, which is the same wall, but it's behind this and then you can just barely get enough height to clear this ledge. It's absolutely insane. Okay, so I'm just gonna show off the skip. I did it with Mark of Pride because I couldn't do it without Mark of Pride. Some other people, including Shy, I saw have done this without Mark of Pride. It's a little bit tough. So you just cast, it hits this wall right here. You pogo off that fireball and you get high enough to cast another fireball right up here and then you pogo it again and you can see you perform the dash at this spot you can see i'm not quite meeting the ledge but hollow knight performs a height correction so that if you're not quite high enough to reach the ledge it just bumps you up just a tiny little bit and that's what you need in order to get up and you just get all the way up to monarch wings and you don't need to use Mantis Claw. So it's a super cool trick. The drawback, of course, is that it's ridiculously hard to do, especially without Mark of Pride. Okay, so now I'm gonna be talking about some of the limitations of this trick because I don't really wanna overhype things. It is a super cool trick, but it has some pretty big limitations as well. So first off, it doesn't work on patch 1221. And that's the main patch that we play for a lot of the different speedrunning categories that you think of when you think of Hollow Knight speedrunning, like any percent NMG, all skills NMG, those are run on patch 1221. 
So those speedrunning categories aren't going to be able to make use of the trick at all. Categories that might make use of this trick are some of the meme categories, 112% all Pantheon bosses, and some of the other current patch categories like current patch any percent, true ending, low percent, etc. The other really big limitation is that this trick is unfortunately FPS dependent. And there's a decent amount of things in Hollow Knight that are FPS dependent, and this is unfortunately another one of them. So this is me trying to do the skip at 165 FPS. So you can see I'm sitting in the exact same position and probably half the time, maybe even more, it doesn't do anything at all, which really sucks. Now I'm gonna show you at 60 FPS what the success rate is like and it's way, way higher. If you want to succeed with this trick, you really want your frame rate to be as low as possible. But one big problem with Hollow Knight is that the lower your frame rate is, the more input lag your game has and the more general performance issues you'll have with the game. So running the game at low FPS kind of sucks, unfortunately and using this trick in different runs might make people feel like they have to use a low FPS in order to do the skip in the run. So there definitely might be a problem in terms of people having to cap their FPS in order to perform the skip. And of course, if you don't cap your FPS, then you're just going to have to accept that there's an RNG element. If you don't get these skips, you're going to have to go back to different enemies and farm souls. So it's just going to be a huge time loss. You'll definitely want to cap your FPS if you're going for these skips. The other thing, as you can see, is that it requires a lot of precision. You have to be in basically the perfect spot so that your fireball spawns and then hits the slope at the next frame, but that also means you have to be at the perfect height. So you have to be at the perfect like X, Y position. And that can be really, really difficult, especially in a game like Hollow Knight, where your character accelerates when you fall and you move so many pixels when you just tap left and right buttons. Okay, so now keep in mind also that if you are using the QOL mod, and if you're playing randomizer, you'll probably be using QOL, just keep in mind that it modifies how fireballs collide with walls. So you probably won't be able to use this trick if you have QOL on. So don't try to do it. You're just going to be wasting your time. Okay, so next I have this epic swag kill on this Vengefly. I don't think this is actually going to have any real uses against enemies, but you can do this and kill this Vengefly just like that. I don't know why I did this. Maybe this is going to be like an optimal way to kill a certain enemy. It would be funny if that were the case. Although, uh, to be honest, I kind of doubt it. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Huge shout outs to Dan Olav again for finding this out. I have no idea how a person figures this out, but it's super cool. And I'm really looking forward to see what kind of new skips are found with this trick. I think there's definitely going to be more finds in the future because like I said, all of this stuff has been found in the last 24 hours or so. So there's definitely going to be more. Maybe I'll post another video in the future. But for now, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh.